Please explain train TU software in simple words. TU is train's service software that works with their uh, UC control system, their new, you know, Symbio UC controllers, which for us, a lot of times we're dealing with the, at least on the centrifugal side, it's the UC 800. And I think it was the UC, was it the 400 or 600 I saw on, on some of their um, air-cooled models. Either way, it's going to be a UC controller. So these will have a cable that's using a USB-B, so the kind of the boxy one that we would know, like the old school printers used, uh, if, if you're familiar with that whatsoever. But... So you've got USB A, B, and C, right? We all know what the USB C is. That's what all of our phones use today. USB A is the traditional USB that like a thumbstick would traditionally work off of, but USB B is the one in the middle. So it's the one that looks like a box. Um, and several other tools use these as well, but that's what the train TU is going to function with. So it, you may plug a USB A into your laptop port, and then it'll be a USB B that plugs into the controller directly. Uh, with actually this chiller here behind me, uh, they actually routed a cable from the uh, UC800 to the side of the panel, so you don't even have to open the panel to plug in and, and connect to it via the software. You can just do it through the side of the panel, and they've got a little plug. And it trains tried to make that part a little bit easier, but. Um, so in simple words, it is a service and commissioning software that requires a license to use and operate, which is different from the previous uh, TechView software. That was an open software that was free to use as long as you're in the right country. That, that is one aspect. Either way... It was free to use. That's no longer true with TU. TU, you have to have a license from train and you have to input that license to, to use the software as a service tool. And that license does cost money. You also have to find a train dealer who's willing to sell you a license key. Uh, that's so if you if you don't have a connection to somebody who is willing to do that, because it's been my experience that most train shops, if you're not a part of their network in some way, they won't sell you a license directly. That's just been my experience. Now, you can use this software for troubleshooting, and it's going to give you a lot of the same information and more. It will give you more than what you can see on the front display. The two main things that I think this software is, or the three, I guess the three main things this software is the most useful for is um, binding. So you have to bind sensors to the chiller. If you replace one or if you replace a board or a module, something like that, it has to be bound, which is basically assigning an address. That module has its own IP address on a communication network similar to a bunch of computers. So whether that be the modules themselves or even the sensors, the transducers, as an example, those have their own little IP address that works off of the network. That is the control wiring that runs throughout the chiller. So we have to tell the main controller that that device is a transducer and a low pressure transducer at that. Otherwise, it doesn't know what to what to use that information for. So the computer is really good at, or the TU software is good at helping with that binding process. Train has a an interface that you on the display you can get into to do a uh, on the newer software versions. The older ones didn't. So you need a newer version of the uh, of the TU or UC controller software, but you can get into the binding view there. Now, I personally haven't had issue, but I've gotten a lot of reports that sometimes the display binding can have some weird glitches, and the only way it was able to be resolved was then using TU software to do it that way. 
So just as one of the main benefits, binding is definitely one of them. Another one is data logging and being able to pull a full data log onto your computer through that software. It is really good for that. If you want to walk up, take a full snapshot for a PM uh, maintenance or even a service, whatever's going on, TU software is really good for that. The final thing I would say is commissioning. It is very, very good at commissioning, kind of necessary to be honest. So if you're going to fully commission a machine or if you have to replace the controller and basically commission it from scratch uh, in the same way that the factory would normally have to, then you'll need that TU software to accomplish that. You're not going to be able to do it otherwise. In terms of actual troubleshooting, it is my experience that the display itself is actually, it gives you enough of the information you need. It may not be laid out quite as smoothly, but if I'm strictly troubleshooting, I typically won't connect the TU software for just that. Um, I will just use the display screens and work from there. Now, if I need to dive in deeper and get more in depth or take some control, do some manual operations, anything of that nature, then I will break out the TU and use it further from there. But it won't be just something I go to immediately plug in as soon as I walk up to the chiller. So uh, that is how I would describe the train TU software in the simplest words I can. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've, I've committed, I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do and to be able to educate, help others and grow and help this industry take step, steps forward. Um, so chilleracademy.com, like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page. Uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's where I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can, uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you. For all of those that are in the academy, y'all are doing some great work out there keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given. 